Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through a new feature in the part workbench and it's called projection and it will create a projection onto the surface like this. Sorry for that yellow strobe, I should turn that off. <laughs> but um, basically it's not a, um, it's not like applying this as a label or as a sticker. Um, so it actually changes the object. So for example if you measure this from uh, corner to corner this this U is going to be longer, so don't mistake it as a uh, like the application of a label. It's uh, direct projection, so it's as if you extrude this uh, through that surface. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. This is a new feature. This is part of uh, let's see, it's uh, FreeCAD 0.19. I don't have a revision number, so oh well, which I'm kind of glad because I don't like those. <laughs> I mean they're probably good, but <laughs> There is a release date, so this was uh, the one January 20th. So, so I run the daily build as much as I can. Um, but uh, let's get started. Uh, give me 15 seconds before we get started. So I'm pretty much math code print everywhere. Here I am on Patreon where you can support me for a dollar a month. I'm also on Twitter. I'm on Facebook as math code print, Instagram, Pinterest, and, and other ones. Uh, and if you want to see FreeCAD specific announcements, I'm uh, at FreeCAD videos on Facebook. Let's get back to the video. So let's start by adding a new document and in the part workbench, let's add a cylinder and I'm just going to try to use the faults as much as possible to keep this moving along. Let me head over, over to draft and let's show our, so there's our working plane. So what I want to do is I want to put our working plane on it's on top right now, or it says it's on, it looks like it's on top, but it says it's on front. Let's <laughs> see what's going on there. So, okay, yeah, so that's right, it just hadn't registered yet. So I want it on front for adding, I'm going to add a shape string, and let's just add, um, I'll do my little initials for my channel. I'm going to make them a lot smaller, we'll make them 0.5, and we're going to reset the point. Um, so you can see how it picks the point there, so we're just going to reset it so it goes to the center. And you can see it's underneath, it's within the uh, within the cylinder there. So that's fine. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to change the grid again. And we'll make it top this time. And I get this sometimes where I have two sets of grids. So that's going to be annoying. Um, sometimes it goes away with a recalc, but we'll just work with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this forward. See if I can pick the right grid. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to move... To there and then I want to move it over a little bit let's do it let's uh, move it over by selecting I'll select the bottom of the C and put that right there Oop, let's try that again pick that point there and there we go move that time pick the grid point there there we go all right so that's right in the middle um, let's move it up so let's change our this to the front again and I want to move it up to the middle there so I'm gonna select this for the center of, center of a curve we'll do select shape, shape string and I should be able to get the center of one of these C curves here if it's just a curve nope 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 let's turn these off see if we can get it nope okay so it must not be a circle that's okay we don't need it exact for this so I'm just gonna pick a point here and we'll just bring this up to, uh, let's lock it to its plane. Or no, we don't want to lock it to its plane. I just want to move it in the, in the Z direction. Nope, in the, oh, so it, it's relative to the object itself. So I just want to move it only in the Y, so that makes it a lot easier. And I'm just going to bring it right up to, right up there, that's good. So you see it only moved up in the Y. All right, so now that that's positioned, now we can project it. So to project it, we're going to go into the part workbench. We're going to select the projection tool. And I'm going to do it wrong first so you can see. So I'm going to put that right about there. And I'm going to select the cylinder. So the, what, what wrong is, is it gets the camera. Uh, so from the viewpoint is your camera direction. And it uses that for the projection. And uh, it's not really wrong, but I consider it wrong because it's just confusing to me. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the projection surface, and that's the surface of my cylinder. Um, and then once when it's correctly selected, 
you'll see that that changes, that turns back off, and this changes to transparent. And I'm going to add a wire. Now, a select, uh, successful selection of this should create that purplish looking outline, and I'm going to select a second wire. So you just do it right in the series. Don't know what. So um, in some cases, you get an error. If I didn't get an error, you'd actually see the projection. So when I'm done adding wires, I click Add, add and click OK. Now, if it worked out at all, at all, which it didn't. Oh, okay, so it didn't calculate yet. Yet, so let's see if we can get it to calculate. Nope. So I didn't get it at all. So I must have missed with the uh, direct the uh, view. So let's try it again. Let's go front. I'm going to show you warts and all here. Um, it's still there, even though it kind of disappears. Don't know why it does that. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Maybe that's part of it. Nope. All right. So we're going to try it again. Select projection surface, and that's going to be here. And then we're going to add a wire. And so now that I've already started, it doesn't change the camera position, so we should be okay this time. I'm going to select P, and there. So you see that it actually worked that time, and I didn't get the error. All right, so that's my projection. So now you can take that projection object and um, you can uh, let's try to let's try to do that. So we can do a boolean of like if you want it to let's see um, you know get an embossment or something. You could probably do nope non solids. Oh okay, so that's that's the difference. Let's do that next. So I'm going to turn these into faces, and we'll do it that way. So to turn these into faces, now the shape string used to fill these in for you, but something changed, uh, and now so now I'm just going to downgrade them, and I'll get faces. So it's not a big deal. Uh, actually, let's before we do that, let's uh, let's move this down. So I'm just going to grab the, uh, the MCP. We're going to move it. I'm going to select. And I'm going to move it again only in the Y, so just a little bit down, that'll be good. And now we'll do shape string downgrade. So now I have the faces, leave it in the front, and go into part workbench. Sorry if I'm going fast or slow, I don't know, it depends on who you are, I guess. I'm going to do another one. Select the projection. So this is using uh, face mode. So we know we've got it because it's changed to the translucent yellow there, add face, and we're just going to pick each one of these. And you can see it's working because it's turned green. Selected objects turn purple, so I'm going to select OK, and do OK, and there. So now you see with a face, it extrudes the whole face. So with it, in that case, um, and I haven't quite figured out what the uh, depth depth object is yet the depth depth function so I do that to uh, so now if I subtract if I uh, do a boolean on these two I you know you can you can interact with them this this is just an, uh, an actual shape so now you've got a now I've got uh, is it all the way through yep so now I've got a uh, subtraction there so that's how you use the projection object uh, basically it's a you know an advanced extrude you know, it's more than extrude because you can see here the projection object has the curve of the uh, cylinder here and here. I don't know why it has it here. If you if you know why, you can uh, let me know. There's probably some tricky, super smart way reason why that I don't know. But uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you use the new projection tool. And if you like my video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the alarm bell so you get all the updates to the video. And uh, if you have a chance, I'll bring this back over. Hit, head on over to Patreon. Um, if you subscribe, you get access to posts that I make on Patreon. And, and a post like this was made on Patreon first. So uh, hope you enjoy it again. Have a great day.